Hey there folks, I am back with another gear review, uh, this time of the 4.7's Maelstrom X7. It's one of their newest uh, tactical flashlight offerings. was just introduced at SHOT Show 2011. Uh, excited to do another gear review. If you've been following my channel, you've probably seen some uh, watch reviews uh, that I did. And then I uh, went on vacation to Palm Springs and did some vacation type videos. Um, but uh, I'm, ba I'm back with some gear reviews now. So uh, I'm going to start things off with this uh, Maelstrom X7 review. Before I jump into the review, though, I would really like to give a shout out to uh, PFI Professional Firearms Instructions, uh, Utah's Self Defense Solution. Uh, if you've ever seen a, a Nut and Fancy video, and well, who hasn't? Uh, you probably recognize PFI. Uh, PFI Dude is a good friend of Nut and Fancy, and he has a, a store in Utah that has an online presence, uh, and he has really good prices. Uh, particularly with the Nut and Fancy code uh, for the discount, it literally is Nut and Fancy. Uh, that saved me about 10% off the price of the uh, uh, the 4.7s Maelstrom X7. Uh, PFI is an authorized dealer for 4.7s, <clears throat> and in my research, this was probably one of the best prices available. So, uh, and put the order in on Friday, uh, was at my doorstep on Monday. Uh, great service. Uh, thanks a lot, PFI dude. Okay. Um, with that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the included accessories uh, with this package. Uh, it's a fairly complete package, not too dissimilar from uh, other flashlight manufacturers and other uh, what's included, uh, a lot of similarities. Uh, here is the holster, very nice holster, it's a hard, hard type holster, a uh, hard case. Uh, that holds its shape. I don't use these, but I do appreciate them. I always think, well, maybe once in a while I might use one, so I keep them. Uh, but this is a nice holster, very quality, very quality item. I'm just gonna put that right there for the time being. And uh, let's see what else we've got here. Of course, you've got a lanyard. Uh, again, not an accessory that I use. Some people do, though. Uh, perfectly nice uh, lanyard. And uh, some O-rings uh, to uh, help maintain the water resistance. You should change these on a fairly regular basis, once a year. Uh, or you might tear one. So they give you some, some extra ones. Uh, the flashlight's waterproof to uh, IPX8 standard. And uh, these O-rings uh, help that. So you do get three three extra O-rings. Uh, this is a, a, a cigar ring type plunger. Uh, whoops. Uh, it came on the flashlight. It's to hold it like this, kind of like a cigar. Uh, I've got other flashlights that use a similar type setup like uh, the, the Phoenix TK15. I've taken it off as uh, as I have with my Phoenix. Uh, one of the noteworthy accessories, though, is that they include a spacer ring. I'm pointing to it with my index finger now, and I'll show it to you a little bit more in the close-up footage. But uh, when you remove the this uh, cigar ring, the spacer ring fills in the space and uh, makes the flashlight a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, really appreciate that. With Phoenix, I actually had to order a spacer ring. Uh, when I removed the cigar ring from that, uh, it was a separate item that you had to order. So I really appreciate the fact that 4.7s includes that. It also includes uh, this extra uh, bezel. This is a smooth black bezel. The silver strike bezel here with uh, the credulations here, uh, that just screws off. And if you don't want uh, the stainless steel uh, bezel, you can swap it out for this nice smooth one. So, uh, good, good package. One of the best uh, accessory packages I've seen from a flashlight manufacturer. Good job, four sevens. Let's go over the specs for a moment because uh, this flashlight has some pretty ex impressive specs. 
And I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the manual, the 4.7's manual for this, because I think they do an excellent job uh, of showing the specs. If you want to go ahead and pause the video there, you can go over the specs at your leisure, and I don't have to read them. Uh, let me uh, let me talk for a minute a little bit about Four Sevens uh, as a company. Now, uh, David Chow is uh, the president and owner of the company. From what I understand, he started off as uh, just a participant in one of the online uh, uh, discussion forums for flashlight enthusiasts called Candle Power Forums. And he at some point started uh, an online store selling uh, flashlights and eventually started his own, uh, his own company, his own brand, the Four Sevens. And I think this is significant because having been part of that enthusiast community and still being very active in that enthusiast community, uh, I think David Chow takes a lot of the feedback that he gets from those you know, people who are flashlight enthusiasts who are just nuts about these things that have literally hundreds of them in their collection. Uh, he takes that feedback that they give him and he puts it into the design of of these flashlights. And you know, they're, I've had a, I've had uh, other four seven products before, uh, like this Prion two, which is an everyday carry item for me. Uh, really appreciate it and. You, know, you can just see the difference in not only the quality of the manufacturing, but also in the design philosophy. So I think that's really something that separates 4.7s from an ever-growing landscape of flashlight manufacturers. Okay, let's talk a little bit about some of those, uh, uh, some of those essential uh, specifications that contribute to the great performance. Uh, output is outstanding. Uh, on this uh, particular flashlight, uh, both at the low end and the high end, something I really appreciate. Uh, it's a clicky design, which means you just click on and click off. Um, you can also do a half click to, to activate it uh, if you just want an instant on without the full click, which, is, which can be handy. Uh, from a user interface perspective, uh, it's a twist user interface. Uh, the flashlight's actually on right now, or maybe it's not on. Okay, now it's on. Okay, you can see the difference there. And it's in the moonlight mode. Uh, it's kind of difficult to see in the video because it is just a, uh, a point, uh, two, I believe, point two. Let me double check the manual here. It might be point three. It's 0.3. 0 0.3 lumens. My apologies. It's 0.3 lumen output, and I really appreciate those low modes uh, because I have a wife that's a light sleeper, and if uh, I, I purchase this as a, primarily as a tactical flashlight to use, if, if I get into a tactical situation where I need to defend myself, uh, but I also like to be able to use these as a utility light, and if I need to get up in the middle of the night. Uh, and I want to use the flashlight, a nice low mode that can provide me some illumination that keeps me from tripping over the dogs or their toys uh, or stubbing my toe, uh, but doesn't wake her up is very important to me, as I imagine it is to a lot of other people out there. Uh, so I really like that low mode. To, to increase in mode, you just twist tighter in quarter turns. Um, and you'll get you'll get higher modes here. All the way up to the maximum output mode that I'm in now, which is 480 lumens. That's almost 500 lumens. That's an incredible output. And I'll do some more with uh, some uh, beam tests later on in the video. Uh, but I just wanted you to get a feel for the user interface because that's a real important part of the flashlight ownership experience. Something I really appreciate about this light. Uh, it's designed, again, to be primarily a, a tactical flashlight. Uh, it can be weapon mounted. Uh, a lot of people like to use this type of a flashlight to be weapon mounted. 
So that's 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 also a primary purpose again. I want to use it uh, on the bedside table to grab, and if I need it with my firearm, uh, so I can take a better shot if I'm defending the house. I want to be able to blind an attacker with it, and uh, with that level of output, it is more than sufficient to be able to do that. Uh, let me go ahead and bring in my uh, Phoenix TK-15. This is a real leader, I think, in this uh, tactical flashlight segment. It's been very popular since it was introduced last year. And uh, I'm going to do a comparison of these two flashlights in a separate video. But I just wanted to bring it in for now to give you a sense uh, from a size perspective, you know, how it, uh, how it compares to the Phoenix because they are uh, fairly similar flashlights in a lot of the things that they do. Um, so as you can see, the length is pretty darn close. Uh, the, the Maelstrom is a bit longer. The head is considerably larger because of that XML uh, LED in there, that emitter, that uh, contributes to the high output that it has over several of its competitors. And in typical to other Maelstrom models, it's got this uh, ventilation here to try to dissipate heat. Because these, these guys can get pretty hot when you run them in, in uh, their full mode. So, uh, let me go ahead and uh, uh, bring the flashlight in for some close-ups. Okay, we're getting some close-up footage here of the Maelstrom X7. Uh, if you're familiar with the Maelstrom flashlights, then you probably won't be too surprised at what you see here. That's a pretty smooth reflector, which will of course affect the beam properties. I'll do some beam shots here in a minute and you can see what that's like. Here's that uh, spacer ring I was telling you about. If you screw off this portion of the body, um, you can take off that spacer ring and put the cigar, uh, the scar ring there instead. Pocket clip is nice, uh, not not too stiff. Uh, you can see that there are smooth portions on the body here where one has got the the name of the flashlight. Here's the four sevens logo. There's a third, and it's under the pocket clip. Nice touch. It means it's not going to tear your your pockets up, or wherever you you know put this put this flashlight when you pocket use the pocket clip. It's not going to tear up the clothing because uh, there's a nice smooth surface under here and not the knurlinged surface. So great job there with the pocket clip. Uh, really impressed with that. Let's go ahead and get some beam shots so you can see the, the properties of the light itself. Okay, here we are uh, in my uh, home theater room, and we're going to do some beam shots here on the movie screen so that you can get an idea of what the uh, beam properties are for this particular light. Um, okay, and I'm shining it on the screen now in its lowest mode. This is the 0.3 lumen um, moonlight mode. I'll give it a quarter turn and bump it up to the next highest mode. And you can see that, you know, it's got a definite hot spot in the center, but it's also got a lot of nice spill uh, away from the hot spot. So this, this light really has a nice balance between uh, flood and throw, in my opinion. Uh, you get that nice bright hot spot that you want uh, for uh, searching, for blinding a potential attacker, uh, but you got some nice spill to help fill a room, um, uh, put light in corners, help you see stuff that's, that's out, outside of your immediate area of focus. Uh, that's really nice. Here's level three. Let's see. There we go. Bumped it up. There's some of the spill edge there, so you can see the properties. And to the highest mode here. This is quite bright. So there you have it. 
there is my review of the 4.7's Maelstrom X7 flashlight. Overall, I think this is an outstanding flashlight. Uh, it's really giving me what I want, which is another tactical flashlight. Uh, I purchased this because uh, uh, my wife confiscated my uh, Phoenix TK15 that I showed you earlier. Really like that flashlight, uh, but she needed it. She's been going to grad school in the evenings, uh, and uh, she takes on campus with her. And uh, I'm very glad that she does. But I needed another flashlight, so when I surveyed the landscape, uh, I wanted to check out 4.7s because I've been impressed with their products in the past, as I've said. And uh, the Maelstrom really compared favorably to the landscape uh, that I looked at. Again, I want to do a comparison with the TK15, uh, uh, which I'm going to do here uh, in uh, probably my next video. But in terms uh, of, of what I think in the standalone review video, uh, I highly recommend the Maelstrom X7. Uh, I think it's an outstanding product and really serves the purpose well that I want it for a uh, tactical bedside light. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Lots more gear reviews coming, watch reviews, more travel videos, uh, pen reviews, all kinds of stuff. Just stuff that interests me and I think interests other people. So again, please subscribe. Take care. God bless. We will see you in the next video.